Hey guys and happy Saturday. So today is the So You Think You Can Craft Challenge and I will tell you more about that a little bit later. But I'm going to start off with this tray. It was actually a tray from an Italian beef, some of Buono, Buona, Buona. Uh, Italian beef and I like the shape of the tray I like the size of the tray so I washed it out and get got it nice and clean and I kept it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this nautical rope and this is from the Dollar Tree and first I started off putting it around the bottom of the top lip there had I been thinking, and I noticed this, and you'll kind of see when I notice it later on in the video, but I should have started like in the middle of it instead of the corner like that, but it's already done. I had already glued it down, so I just kind of kept going with it. That way, you know, you would have been able to hide it a little bit better, but that's okay. It's, you know, it doesn't show, you can kind of glue the other end to it and it hides it pretty well. So it's not that big of a deal. So what I'm going to do is just go around the whole like lip on the top there and just glue it down and it stays really well. And I'm using my Gorilla Glue Sticks and that's all I use. You, you know, if you feel the need to, you can use some E6000 or some crazy glue, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. So I'm just going to go ahead, go around that whole top lip. And initially I was going to cover that whole bottom with a uh, rope or with the jute twine or whatever you want to call it and I didn't I didn't want to cover up that black I kind of liked how that black was looking you know in contrast to the rope so I decided to just kind of decorate the little tray with the rope instead of covering the whole thing with the rope and I really like the way that it turned out and you can use it for so many different things I mean you can make it into a little planter you can use it for fruit which is how I used it you could put um, little those little decorative like wood balls in there you can do all kinds of stuff so then the next thing I decided I wanted to do was put another like strand of the rope along that bottom lip kind of just to you know match that top part of it and like I said I really like the way that the rope looked looked against the black from the tray so I don't want to cover it all up it kind of gives me like a modern farmhouse type of feel so I really liked it so again I'm just doing the same thing here on the bottom but of course you could do you know whatever you wanted to do with it you can cover the whole thing up you can you know do vertical lines on it you can I mean there's so many different things you could do you could actually use the rope and kind of make it a hanging planter that would have been really cute I just thought about that that would have been really cute and I think I have a couple more of these so I may turn those into like little hanging planters so we'll see how that turns out but I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing and this time I thought about it and I cut the rope before um before I glued it down because the last time I glued it down and then I cut it and it kind of came off so just went ahead cut the rope and I mean as you can see it kind of blends together there where you cut it so it's not a big deal that I didn't put it in the back um, but you just go through kind of see if there's anything that needs to be glued down fix that up a little bit and then when I was looking at it it just looked kind of plain and I thought it needed a little bit something else so I decided to take some more of the rope and go along the top and that's kind of where I noticed okay I'm not going to start in the corner there you're going to be able to see this part really well so I went ahead and started on the back which is what I should have done initially and then I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing glue it along the top and just go all the way around and I was going to cut all of this out but I decided to just kind of show you you know that it's pretty simple you know it sticks down really well you can get those nice little rounded edges on there to match the tray so I thought it just you know it worked out really well and I used one whole pack of nautical rope to do this piece and um, you know it was well worth it and if you have the white nautical rope you can use the white nautical rope you can use you know yarn if you wanted to and just kind of make a braid out of it and you could do the same you know thing and it could be any color that you wanted to match your um you know to match your decor 
Then I noticed right here that the piece was kind of uneven. So I took my hot glue, kind of warmed up the glue that was on there and just straightened it out. So this is, you know, really easy to kind of fix if you make a mistake. And I think there's another piece right there on the front that I end up fixing later. And it's not going to be absolutely perfect, you know, it, but I like the way that it turned out. And I love the fact that you can kind of um, make it your own. You can do whatever you want. You can use any kind of tray or anything. So I wanted to put some little handles on it. I didn't know if I wanted to um, put it over the top, put them on the sides. And I wanted to put them on the sides. And then if I had been thinking about it before, I would have put them underneath that rope. So I had to kind of think of a different way to put it on there so it looked nice. So I decided to just go along the sides and kind of just put the rope, as you can see me doing here, starting at the bottom and going up. And then just looping a little handle on there and just gluing down, you know, both sides wherever I wanted them. And you can make it you know, along the sides, you can put it on the front, wherever you want to put it, you know, you can, you can do it that way. But I, I like the way that this looked. So I just went ahead and used whatever rope was left over. I cut it in half and that's how I made these little handles. And you can even use ribbon for this. You can use anything, like I said, anything you want. But because this is the rope jute, jute twine challenge, I decided to use all twine. So then I'm just going to go ahead and finish it up, put a little bit of glue along the top lip there so that the little handle stays on there. And then I did that to both sides and this is how it turned out. And you're always able to kind of just fix it and adjust it how you need to. And that is how this one turned out and I really, really like it. So guys, today is my So You Think You Can Craft Challenge, and my co-host is the amazing Simply Becky DIY. And guys, head on over to her channel. She's at 839 and um, in subscribers. Let's get her to a thousand. I think she is so talented. She's amazing, and I appreciate her co-hosting for me today. The playlist is going to be in the description box, so head on over and check that all out. So for my next DIY, I have this cork board sheet from cork sheet from the Dollar Tree and I just cut out four circles. I use my very, very um, professional tool to make circles, a roll of duct tape, but um, it was the perfect size for my mug. So I went ahead and used that. And then I'm using this rope plant hanger that I got from the Dollar Tree earlier this year. And I'm just going to untie all the knots that are in there and you end up with a bunch of strands of some really nice black rope. So I'm just going to go ahead, take that all apart. It took me a while. It kept getting tangled. So it does take a minute. But at the end, you have a whole lot of rope that you can use and you have a cool little metal ring that you can use for something else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one strand of the rope and struggle to take the backing off of this cork sheet. I think because I cut it, it was really hard to kind of get a grip on the um, <laughs> on the backing there. But I finally got it off and the backing on this is really, really sticky. So you don't really need any hot glue or any extra adhesive. But I did start off with one dab of hot glue in the middle just to kind of secure that piece in place and I just went and I took the black rope and I just went all the way around this piece of cork and as I was doing it I realized that I wasn't completely centered but that's okay I can just cut off the edges so it's not a huge deal and I just went around and I like I said just glued this to the bottom of that cork sheet and I'm going to kind of fast forward it here because that's a lot it took me like it didn't take a whole lot of time but I didn't think you wanted to sit there for a few minutes and watch me doing that so um thank you everyone who you know is participating in this challenge and if you're coming over here from the playlist thank you so much for stopping by I appreciate it and if you're not already a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and leave a comment down below and let me know that you came over and whose channel you came over from. I'd like to, you know, chat with you and I like to just get to know my subscribers and everyone who's viewing. So thank you. Thank you. And thank you. 
so once I was done wrapping that around on that cork sheet, I just went ahead, kind of cleaned it up a little bit. And um, I did end up hot gluing that end piece in there just to, you know, just to secure it in place. Like I said, the, that glue or the adhesive that's on that cork sheet is really, really good. But like I said, I just want to make sure that it didn't come apart. And then I'm just going to clean up the edges because, like I said, I wasn't completely centered there. So there was a little bit of cork showing. But now you have yourself a nice little coaster with a cork bottom there. there. So then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take this uh, Mod Podge. This is the dishwasher safe um, Mod Podge. I am now a Plaid Ambassador. So yay me. I'm excited. They sent me a whole box. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll link it down below. It's the unboxing and they sent me a huge box of a ton of stuff. And this was one of the bottles. I've been wanting to try this dishwasher safe Mod Podge and... I just never got to it so I'm excited to use it so I just put a coat of it on top of the coaster just so that you know when you put your drinks on it if there's anything wet it's not going to you know mess up the mess up the coaster and I just went ahead put a whole you know nice little thick coat on there and it says that you have to let it cure for I think it says 28 days but um, just for video purposes, obviously, you're just going to see what I'm doing here. And then when I take the picture, it's not completely cured yet. And my mug does get stuck to the <laughs> stuck to the coaster, but it's OK. Once um, I'm done taking the picture, I just kind of let it sit out. So it should be cured, you know, within the next week or so. But I just went ahead, put a coat of this Mod Podge all the way around, even on the sides to kind of like I said, you know, secure the edges and all of that. And that is all that I did with this, guys. This was extremely easy. And I really enjoyed making these projects because they were fun, easy, and they came out so nice. So again, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Everybody who participated, thank you so much. Be sure to hit on, uh, head on over to the playlist. Check everybody out. And until next time, be blessed and be the reason someone smiles. Bye, guys.